There are very few topics in the electric violin world that get people as excited as MIDI. It's like the holy grail, right? I can get a piano sound on my violin, oboe, saxophone, sawtooth, all this crazy stuff. I can do that with my violin? Yeah, you can. So we can do a lot with effects pedals. We really can do a whole lot. But if you want to go completely digital, there's one more step to take. We've done a video talking about MIDI basics and the equipment behind MIDI. Um, and there's a link to that right here. This particular video, we're gonna be talking more about the instruments themselves. There are three main makers that make MIDI violins, Cantini, Fornis, and Zeta. We're gonna dive deep into each of those three. Cantini violins are made in Italy. Uh, they're available in four and five strings. There are several different painted colors. There are several different kinds of wood tops. Uh, they are available fretted or fretless. They start at about $13.99. They have magnetic pickups, so you have to use steel core strings, but these are a really, really popular option. Fornis is another maker. They're made in the USA. They are available in four and five strings. They're available in several painted colors. They've got several different wood tops. They start at $25.50 and they use piezo pickups, so you can use pretty much any string you want. The last maker is Zeta. They are also made in the USA, available in four and five strings and fretted and fretless. I forgot to mention that there. Several painted colors, several different wood tops, two different pickups, the Jazz and the Stratos, three different shapes, the Modern, the Fusion, and the um, Classic. Whew. And then there are, they start at 2440, also use piezo pickups, so you can use pretty much any string that you want. Most players don't use MIDI all the time, so they're gonna use the regular pickup on these instruments a whole lot. And one of the questions we get are, how do they sound when they're not plugged into MIDI? So I've got a fairly short video here where you can hear more or less the same lick played on each of these four instruments, the, the, the Cantini, Fornis, and then Zeta with both pickups. We're gonna let you listen to those, and then we'll come back and talk about some MIDI triggering. <laughs> that each instrument sort of has its own particular character and it's really going to depend on your ear which one sounds the best to you okay um, now if we want to talk about MIDI triggering how do these all trigger compared to each other uh, and we looked at two things we looked at latency which is gonna we're gonna measure by recording into a DAW and measuring the time between the mic on the strings and the MIDI signal I actually plugged it into the MIDI held it up to a mic and pluck the string, the microphone hears the string instantaneously, pretty much. And then the MIDI signal runs through the GR55 processor and into the computer. And then we measure the offset between those two. You can see here in the DAW, that's a screenshot. Um, and so I would measure at the beginning, the top one is the mic, the bottom one is the, uh, the MIDI trigger. And basically what we found was that there's essentially no difference in speed of triggering from one of these instruments to another. Um, that gap ranged sort of between about 10 and 20 milliseconds. 
Uh, they get a little higher. The gap gets a little higher as you get heavier and massier strings, which makes total sense. Um, 10 to 20 milliseconds is about how long it takes sound to travel 10 or 20 feet. There are some people that say, oh, just I just can't. I can't possibly play something that's lagging 10 to 20 milliseconds behind what I'm doing. If you've got a speaker that is 10 to 15 feet away from you, that's how much latency you're hearing. So if you're standing 15 feet away from a drummer and you see his hand hit the snare drum and then you hear it, that's 15 to 20 milliseconds. So it's pretty fast. Um, you may be able to sense a very, very slight amount of uh, delay there. It's, it's not much. So then the next test is playability. We wanted to play these things into the GR55 and see whether one of them triggers better than the other one. Uh, the short version is no, they don't. There's very, very little difference. I think they all sort of trigger maybe a little differently, but we're sort of limited by how reproducible I can play this exact same lick the exact same way on four different instruments. The instruments probably just the, a little tiny difference in feel between each instrument probably affects me enough to change uh, the way they trigger. Basically, you're, and we'll play, we'll play the video for you. Um, but the short answer is no, they all pretty much trigger equally well or equally badly, depending on how well I can actually trigger MIDI. Um, there's sort of this last thing called intangibles and that's just how does it feel? You know, a, a Maserati feels different than a Mazda. And uh, it's sort of hard to demonstrate that on video. Basically what I can tell you is we feel that these instruments are appropriately priced. Okay. If you've got a $1,500 instrument and you've got a $3,000 instrument, you would expect the $3,000 instrument to just have more of a refined feel to it. And it does. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's kind of the best I can do. I am going to show you a quick video where I'm showing you uh, sensitivities on these. They sort of, I change them a little bit for each instrument, but they all kind of range between like 20 and 30 on the GR55. And then we'll let you hear the same lick on each of the four instruments. So any of you who have messed with MIDI violin know that I, I kind of gave them a little bit of a, the old razzle dazzle there when you do those da 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 da, -da right? Uh, and then some double stops. Uh, I, you know, I was trying, I was pushing the ability of those things to trigger fairly far. Um, and they all kind of, you sort of bump into more or less the same problems with each one. So my assessment is that from a MIDI standpoint, I don't think there's a big difference between any of the four. The the other qualities, just how the instrument feels in your hand, uh, which I think is kind of reflected by price. And then the pickup sound, which is something that is purely subjective. That's something that only you can decide which one sounds best to you. So you guys, uh, I would love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out some other videos, other videos, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.